What's up? It's your boy Carcino here. Let's go. Album versus album. Volume 13. What you thought you would never see and probably be shocked when you see the title. Tupac, Me Against the World versus LL Cool J Mama Said Knock You Out Out. I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck. I'm really, really stuck here. Me Against the World, Tupac's greatest album ever made. And I'm stuck. Me Against the World was almost like... It got four mics in the source. This is a close to a five mic album. It should at least got four and a half. But there's certain songs on here that was just, to me, fantastic. Maybe one song I don't listen to. I didn't listen to Lord Knows that much. And my boy couldn't stand Heavy in the Game with Richie Rich. I liked Heavy in the Game. They couldn't stand it. But me against the world, if I die tonight, then you got the actual me against the world song, So Many Tears. That beat, Temptations, then Young Niggas, the song he dedicated to Yummy Sandifer, Sandifer, the kid that got shot, and just young people in general, old school, and of course, Dear Mama. It was the most complete mixture of Tupac. The closest you're going to see to Tupac is a complete artist. He had the uh, digital underground type song type beat with shock he had Johnny J he had he had his mixture and then he went out with Dramacidal which is now the Outlaws with Outlaw but my favorite song on the album was Death Around the Corner by John J best song on the album I see death and brother Kona. Mm -hmm. You know, when he used that beat again for pitching me rolling, a lot of people didn't pick up on it. I'm like, why did he just soften the beat? I love death around the corner. That don't get old. <laughs> I mean, that song is lyrically flawless. If you couldn't feel that song, you must have been just dead. Death Around the Corner was one of the greatest songs to come out and you could play it. We had that's back when you had headphones on. We used to have headphones on, portable C D player. Boom, doom, doom. Sick. Everything about that track is perfection. Then this was like a cruising album. You know what I'm saying? You could cruise to it. Listen to Can You Get Away? And it ain't easy being me. When I see the penitentiary, will I be free? I'm like, man, this this is the cool, relaxed album. It's easy listening rap. Then it gets hard, then it gets soft. <laughs> you know, it was all emotions on one record. Now, Speaking of mamas, we go to Mama Said Knock You Out. <laughs> you know, he had Dear Mama and he got Mama Said Knock You Out. <laughs> so the, here, was, here it is, LL Cool J's comeback album, but don't call it a comeback album. <laughs> this put LL Cool J back on the map. Walking with a Panther, which was, to me, a great album. I love walking with a panther. But unless you was an LL Cool J fan, you wasn't going to like walking with a panther. And because a lot of people didn't like, I'm that type of guy. And not just for them, they made their opinion on the whole album. They saw the cover. They heard I'm that type of guy. I said, I can't deal with this album. 
without really giving the album a chance. But L went back to the roots. He got with Marley Marlin and said, we need to do something. And it started with the Jiggling Baby remix. And from that remix, they went to work on making and recreating the new LL Cool J. You know, the new album. So, LL stayed at the House of Hits, Marley Marl House, Tragedy Gaddafi's there, a couple of other MCs coming through. And Tragedy just came home from jail. And he right next door, next in the next room is LL, and they working on Mama said knock you out. Him, Marley, they working on the album. Tragedy like, man, I gotta get involved in this, man. Like, what we got, man? This is sounding dope. And what you got is the creation of one of the one of the best albums probably LL Cool J's made as far as a balance between commercial and still being hard and still being hip hop. Murder Graham, Mr. Good Bar, Eat 'Em Up L. That was the hip hop songs that everybody can gravitate to. To the break of dawn, you know. Everybody remember that, and even six millions of pleasure. All the all the R and B joints you weren't mad at. You didn't skip them because they was dope. I mean, around the way, girl. I like the girl with extensions in the hand, bamboo earrings, at least two pair, a Fendi bag, and a bad attitude. That's all I need to get me in a good mood. I mean, the only song on here I could not stand and deal with that people love is Cheesy Rap Blues. Cheesy Rap, you ain't on that. I was like, oh gosh, I would throw Cheesy Rap Blues off a cliff. And this is just a story about how he didn't fell off and everybody don't even want to play his music no more. They throwing his old records at him and stuff. And it's just him talking about himself. Like he's just down on his luck. But the booming system, which was the first single really off the album. To the break of dawn was on the house party soundtrack. It was the filler song. We see how people was gonna respond. They put Jingling Baby back on there. And this is a hard choice. Man, this is hard. Because all these songs are hits. Both albums are classic. Classic albums. And definitely, like for different time. Oof, man. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of stuck here. I'm really stuck. Even though I played Mama Said Knock You Out album the most, I think Me Against the World is the better album. Alright, I need a drink. I, I can't deal with this right now. But that was different. I feel like I just had to pick between who's my favorite child or <laughs> something. <laughs> I'm. I'm right now I'm depleted right now. I'm, I'm out of energy. I gotta make a run. I'm out.